I just got asked to go to Exmouth tomorrow for a shoot until Friday, which is fucking wicked. <laughs> and I got a bit more information which was good um, still probably don't really know what I'm doing until I get the call sheet which will come through soon but I've switched bags I've gone with a bigger option it is bedtime and we're gonna watch a episode of The Undoing this is our four and a half year anniversary and then just like what I'm taking on the plane laid out. I'm just having a boost and we're gonna head to the airport soon. It's about like 10 past 10 and we have to be at the airport at 11. So, and it's not that far away, so shouldn't be too bad, but yeah, I just can't believe I'm going. <laughs> we are off to the airport now. How exciting. chop the aircon on because it's so hot um but yeah how exciting okay so i've just quickly put my shit in my villa and now i'm gonna try either go to run to iga quickly to grab a bunch of stuff for the shoot tomorrow or get an escue from reception i don't know there's a bunch of things i have to do and we have to be at the marina before a bit before five and it's like three three-ish now so hopefully we have time but we're at the first shoot and so far so good, which is so awesome. It's pretty hot here, but I'm actually, I love this weather. Well, we just wrapped on the first day, which went so well. <sighs> so we finished up the first day and um, it's about, oh, it's like almost, almost seven or it is seven um and i'm just gonna chuck my bathers on and go for a swim in the freaking pool because why not and then we're gonna go get some dinner at a brewery which will be so much fun so yeah good good first day that swim was just what the doctor ordered i felt so much more refreshed and cool after that now we're gonna go grab some dinner and that'll be the night and then we have to wake up at fuck probably like four four o'clock to get out by five um, to the canyon, so good luck with that. <laughs> it is 10 o'clock and I am gonna go to sleep and get up at like four. It'll be fine, it'll be so fine. <laughs> I will see you in the morning. It is 20 past four and I am ready to go out for the day. How exciting.
So we're back from the um, shoot at the canyon and I just went into town and got some things that we needed and a little little um, snack because it's only it's only like 20 past 11 and we got back at like 10 30 ish um, and the restaurant for lunch wasn't open yet so um, just waiting until that opens at 11 30 and then I'll head over there and grab a bite to eat. Okay, my hair is crazy, but I've got my bathers on and I'm gonna go get some lunch and then, oh, hello Mr. Turtle, and then go for a swim, so I'm very excited. It is officially 10 to 12 now, so. <sighs> got all, all my stuff ready for shoot number two of the day. It's such a nice day. It actually feels really good having a shower and getting out in the heat again, because at least I feel fresh and not all gross and sticky. But yeah, it's really beautiful at this resort. We're at the canyon for part two of the shoot, which is such a great view at this other location. On set you have to like buy if you have an ex you have to buy ice every morning which is a little bit annoying especially if you're like starting out late but on this shoot so I've got an SV and I got some the um, hotel hideout SVs so I just grabbed one of those which is only 10 bucks a day which is a steal not having to actually buy one and then I got a bag of ice from um, the uh, liquor shop and then every night after the day, because it doesn't melt the whole way, because I just sleep in the car, I just chuck it in this freaking freezer bin that I happen to have in my room and Bob's your, Bob's your uncle. So that's uh, one bag of ice lasting us a lot of the trip. literally have our have the um, brewery all for ourselves with the owner. It's so much fun. <laughs> Getting to try beers, go into the go into the breweries. That was such a cool way to spend the evening. So we were just at um Bloody Pete's Brewery, which is a froth brewery in Exmouth. You should definitely check it out if you're over there, just saying. Um, and yeah, it was closed today. So he just showed us around. We had some um, tastings of the beers and it was just, it was just so nice for him to like go to that sort of effort and just want to show us around. So that was really cool. But it is 9.30 and we have to be at the marina at five in the morning tomorrow. So I'm gonna have a shower, pack some things up because we have to check out tomorrow. And yeah, go to sleep and have a solid sleep before the next day of chaos. Good morning, it is 4.30 and I've just gotten ready for the day. So um, I'm just, we have to check out today. So I'm just sort of packing up a few things, but yeah, ready for another day. I am gonna be honest, I'm pretty tired. I think six hours of sleep just isn't enough sometimes, but it'll be fine, it'll be a good day. And um, yeah, and then we go to Carnarvon after we shoot this morning. So it's gonna be a good day. I've just gotta put the um, stuff in the esky for the day. Hello, here's my outfit for today. I've gone with long sleeve because it's so hot outside and I don't want to get sunburned but then I've gone with pink no orange gym shock shorts and a pink hat just to kind of switch things up a little bit be a little bit colorful but yes ready to go to the moon Okay, I 
I'm back at a con and we've got a hustle to get out because it's 10 to 10 and we've got to be out by 10.30 so just want to have a shower, get the sweated and pack everything up and yeah, hit the hit the town to just grab some things before we hit the road to Carnarvon so yes. We've checked out and I'm just getting some lunch and then we'll be ready to hit the road to Carnarvon. See all these termite mounds next to the road? Yeah. If you break them down and mix them with water, you can use it as cement. Banana farm. How cool. Ha! We've made it to Carlin. We're in the banana plantation. Ah, we've just gotten to our com in Carnarvon. A little bit of a rush this Savo, to be honest, because we um, stopped in at the banana plantation and just had a look around, and that took a little bit longer than expected. But to be honest, it's probably um, valuable time spent because it will save us tomorrow morning. But this is my my little one one bedroom thing. I'll show you around. Oh my gosh, the TV is so small. I only just noticed that. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is at Outback Oasis um, Caravan Park. This little, little simple room. Nothing too flash, not like the last place. A simple bathroom. We're in Carnarvon near One Mile, the One Mile Jetty. And I'm just in the car because the other car is just getting some shots um, just from outside the window, just looking out, driving along, um, just on this kind of closed off sort of area. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for them to get that and then we'll be wrapped for day three, day three, gosh, yeah. Day three, halfway through. Um, so yeah, that's great. It's been a pretty long day driving down to Carnarvon and looking at things and doing all this filming and stuff, but I can't, still can't believe that I get to be here. So cool. Uh, it's 4 a.m. again. Oh my god, my voice. And I'm pretty excited to not have to wake up at 4 a.m. again um, soon, but anyway. We've got to get started on today. Yesterday was quite a long day, so I'm pretty tired from that. But um, yeah, let's get cracking at the banana farm. We are at the mango and banana plantation, just getting the shots for this morning. And it's going really well. It's really beautiful here in the, in the trees and stuff. I'm just doing a couple of things. We got people some coffees this morning, which was a bit of a morale booster. I think that was needed. It's a bit tiring waking up at 4 a.m. every day, but... So, we, um, we had this issue to start over with the location, but I had an epiphany, and my epiphany is actually going to work, so we don't actually have to end up changing anything which is amazing because it would have been a pain for like um, organizing it with the people and stuff and changing locations is um, sometimes a bit tricky with yeah, people and what they need but it worked and now I finally get a little bit of a break before we start shooting so I'm just going to be I cannot explain how nice it is to just be able to sit down at my computer to do some admin stuff and have a Baraka so necessary. I can actually have a nap. I'm so excited because I am exhausted but I think a nap will just really help me perk up a little bit, be a little bit, um, a little bit more alive and excited. <laughs> but yes, so I am gonna hopefully, hopefully, I think I could have like an hour long nap, which is so decent. Yeah, yeah. 
so we are just filming down at the beach now and just getting some running long shots but um today i actually had to jump into the ads and be a part of it um so that'll be pretty funny to watch because i'm not an actor i am good behind the camera but in front of the camera i don't know like i'm okay i'm not really not really an actor <laughs> let's just say that but um hopefully we finish um quick enough so that we can get some dinner at, some, um, at one of the pubs. I think I might have to call them and just see if they're still open. Anyway, I am gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm just sitting in the car waiting because that car is full of them. I don't know where they've gone. Good morning. It is our final shoot day and I got up at um, yeah around four again today and I'm pretty keen not to have to wake up at four tomorrow morning. We finished at the banana plantation, just filming out the front of that this morning. That was quite nice. Um, pretty chill at the start to the day, actually. It was quite a nice, really easy shoot. Holly was lovely. The girl who um, came and stepped in, everyone on this shoot's been really lovely, like kind of ridiculously lovely and great. Great on camera as well. Everyone's been, um, yeah, kind of, kind of gorgeous, <laughs> to be honest. It kind of looks like we've sourced freaking models when really they're just um, everyday locals that are in um, volunteers. But yeah, so now we're just gonna go to have some breakfast. It's like quarter past 10 now. And then um, and then I've got to make some call cool sheets for another shoot while at breakfast. And hopefully in that gap, I get some time to do that. And then we'll be starting again at about two o'clock. So that's our, that's our last day, but yeah, it's been, it's been quite magical. chilling at um, the Ecom and just doing some work, getting prepared for a shoot I have on Saturday. So, and I'm sitting in the aircon, which is also nice. But yes, I can't believe it's almost over. This time tomorrow I'll be um, back in Perth, back at home. Good job. <laughs> There's a cat at my door and it needs to not. It's a black cat. You are not getting in. No, thank you. Oh, we just got home from dinner and that's fully a wrap. I, it was actually such good dinner. I just got two appetizers. I got lamb koftas and um, uh, bruschetta and it was so, so delicious. It was actually the best best meal because it was kind of light and like fresh and I just really felt like something like that. I've actually been really healthy this whole trip which has been nice. So yeah, just going to pack up my stuff and get ready for the morning to make it as easy as possible so I can sleep in which would be nice but yeah. My god it is so nice to lie down and not have to wake up at 4am tomorrow. That is honestly the best feeling in the world. Um, I think I'll get up at about just after 6 maybe because I think we'll have to head out by like 7.30 but I will just want to have time to like pack everything up and get ready and have something to eat maybe and yeah this is really, I feel like this is the where I want my job to be able to take me is to like fun trips like this and get to see fun things and meet cool new people and yeah this is this is pretty cool I'm not gonna lie it's definitely um a highlight and I hope I get to go on a lot more trips like this in the future with work and I'm sure I will but yeah this is the first one so kind of exciting to be able to um do fly up to um Exmouth and Carnarvon and stuff and spend some time in a different place but yes I am gonna have a little scroll and then I'm gonna go to sleep because I am absolutely knackered. It's only nine o'clock, but I am just so ready for bed. You can even see I'm a little bit sunburnt, unfortunately. I put on so much sunscreen. You should see my bloody 
watched him, it's hectic. But yeah, can't really get away from the sun up here. I am dressed and ready to go to the airport. I think we've just got to um, put everything in the cars and yeah, John, John and Justin just went to get some coffees, which is nice. And that's, that's it. That's kind of, yeah, our scene now. Almost ready to go. Got my coffee from the boys, which is so nice.